Welcome back. So if you want to talk about a prospect that's got greatly diverging opinions, I give you Fabia, Fabian Lysel uh, from Sweden. Uh, 5 foot 10, 172 pounds. So he's on the smaller side. He's considered to be a sniper though. So maybe they're like, hey, to brink it, right? And that other guy in Montreal is doing pretty well at Caulfield, right? Well, so 179 centimeters, 78 kilos for those of you that are in the metric countries, which Canada is, but we still use uh, inches for height and pounds for weight. It's the one thing that when Canada went over to metric, we said, no, we'll stay imperial with that. So I don't know anybody that gives their weight in kilos in Canada. Um, number 10 in the consolidated rankings is Fabian Lysel. Now, if I'm wearing Dallas, that means I think he goes 14th. Looking at the overall numbers, I'm like, yeah, you know, 14th. Yeah, sure. And and it's because there's some some things here that might put other teams off. And so I think he may end up slipping down in the draft to 14th. But it, there are diverging opinions greatly. And I think a lot of it has to do with not necessarily the player. So he's number 7 on Elite Prospects list. Number 19 on the HockeyProspect.com list. Number 12 on TSN. Number nine on NHL Central Scouting amongst European skaters, and he's number twenty-seven on the Hockey News uh, in their issue on the on the draft. So could be anywhere. Now his stats with Lulea of Swedish League: twenty-six games, two goals, one assist, three points. Doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything because he didn't really play. He didn't play very many minutes. So his strengths are considered to be shooting accuracy. He's a sniper, uh, passing and agility. Now. How many times have we seen now where a small sniper ends up going later in the draft than he probably should have? That's why I mentioned Debrinket. That's why I mentioned Caulfield. But with Lysel, he he likely wouldn't have to deal with that because of those examples. But there's character concerns. There's concerns about his humility and about whether or not he's got the right attitude. And I, I do think that will put some teams off who are drafting earlier than... Than, than Lysel otherwise would go. Um, he, he played sheltered minutes in the SHL, which is a bit of an overstatement. Understatement, sorry, understatement. Uh, he plays a fast, skilled game, which when you're playing sheltered minutes, you don't really get a chance to excel in that. He is not a fourth liner, and yet he was being put into fourth line situations. Good vision, good hockey sense. Um, very good with the puck. Uh, makes smart decisions, playing two-on-ones, that kind of thing. Uh, and one game he was scouted in on HockeyProspect.com, he played a total of three minutes. And they had ten forwards that night. He was like, okay, good. Well, at least I'll see Lysel or no. So three minutes. He said he did everything he could in those three minutes. But it's three minutes. So even Rob Ray would be complaining about three minutes in a game. Uh, he can play either wing. He shoots right. And again, he's seen as being a goal scorer who at the top league didn't get to play in any kind of a goal scoring role which to me says the other thing that may cause him to to go higher or lower in the draft is it really comes down to who the scouts are sold on did, did a scout see enough of him to say you know what we can we can get a 30 goal season out of this kid at some point yeah there's there's some other character issues but we feel we can do that like i thought about maybe chicago but i thought no and then i thought which team in that 10 to 15 spot might be more likely to take on a guy who yeah may have some issues but he's a sniper and to me it's dallas dallas needs more snipers uh they are they are a team that could use more goals so at the very least he should be a player that scores goals at the nhl level and i i do think that they can work with a guy who may have some character issues off the ice as well but he he definitely seems like the type that we may be shocked next month at him going, say, in the top 10, we may be shocked at him dropping out of the top 20. It really depends on who's available when and who's picking. And so it'll be interesting to see where he goes. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.